2022 Christmas Village full tutorial series. It is so discouraging to realize that for the first time in over 20 years you will most probably not be able to complete your Christmas Village in time that you may even lose the will to speak. Okay guys, in part 12 I told you that I was waiting before assembling this big, monstrous, <laughs> mysterious building because I haven't figured out yet a way to put lights inside it. Uh, this is a building as any other building in my layout, so if every other single building has a light inside these need to have lights inside maybe multiple lights uh, and it's not entirely true that I don't know how to put lights inside it because I know exactly how to put lights it's simply a matter of adding a simple LED but I wanted something different for this building and I also told you that I will wait uh, Monday night to think about it and it's Monday night, no, <laughs> it's Tuesday morning because guys, maybe sometimes you don't, you risk to don't believe me but it's 2.09 a.m. on Market so Tuesday and it is uh, September and the 20, hope you can see it, okay? So it's really, it's true that I'm working late night and it's never a joke when I say something. Sorry for that procedure, for, for that uh, standing guide. So, LED guys, let's talk for a moment about LEDs. Uh, you know that I usually use some white bright LEDs such as this one just in part 12 you have seen me using them for my um, clearing circus dome okay they also come in foggy so diffusing lights and I could have used them for my dome, but they aren't very bright, okay? So this is diffused light, and this is pure bright light. You can see the difference when I reach the camera because one is way more aggressive than the other. So on the right one, the one that will diffuse the light, and on the left one, the one that is emitting a cone of light, you can see that this one is not emitting a cone of light and this one is emitting sorry a cone of light here you will see the cone of light no sorry you aren't seeing anything but here you have the cone of light here okay um so i could simply use one of them on a stick inside here and have a pure white bright or diffused LED light inside. Generally, Lamax buildings are not cold lighted, but they are warm lighted, so light is, and the LED is cold when it turns to white or blue. It is warm when it turns to yellow or red. I will not talk about Kelvin's and uh, that is the, mm, uh, the intensity of the uh, uh, color, etc. No, let, let's forget that. So, bright white, uh, cold white, bright, uh, warm, uh, not so bright, and yellowish or red. Okay, the difference between the lights. So, some uh, days, some weeks ago, 
Yes, a month ago when I was thinking about this building here, I ended up finding and buying some different colors of LED. Okay, another thing, sorry. Those LEDs, the white ones, the, this 5mm LED, white, diffused or pure bright LEDs, work on uh, 3 volt batteries. So a battery or an AC adapter of 3 volts can, re, can uh, power them on, can power them, okay? But different intensity of light, different colors of light needs different voltage, different tension, okay? So those orange one, because those are orange guys, they have uh, uh, voltage and intense uh, attention of uh, working of 2.2 volts. If now I apply this battery on this LED, it will burn in just some uh, seconds. So, as always, there is uh, uh, a relation between voltage and intensity, it's physics, I will simply state the, the equation voltage equals resistors multiplied by current intensity, V equals R multiplied by I, sorry for that. So in order to uh, work with this LED here, I need to uh, power down the voltage. I cannot, I don't have uh, a way, I don't have a potentiometer that will allow me to uh, adjust the voltage, nor the AC adapters are. So I use some resistor. So voltage equals resistor by current intensity and by simple calculation that I will not do because this is not an electronic um, uh, channel, this is not an electronics uh, uh, tutorial but if you, one day you want to know why I can show you all those things. So this is a resistor of 47 ohms Putting this between the battery and the LED will help making a resistance to the voltage and lower it so the LED won't burn and get the proper voltage. Okay, so generally you just go from the positive to the positive and the longest one is always the positive, the longest legs is always the positive and let's do something that I shouldn't do but I will go this way I should solder it but right now I don't think I have the time okay and this is an orange LED. I don't know if you can appreciate the color, but this is not a bright LED. It is orange, guys, believe me, because you can see on my hand that the light is orange. Not in like that, because the camera lenses will prevent you from getting the real color, because uh, they prevent the, uh, the lens camera uh, they have a safety switch that prevents the color to be seen correctly or maybe I should diminish the uh, IAS, ISO ISO of the camera but I don't want but if you look at my end you may see that the color is orange so this is more uh, to, they, they come in yellow, blue, green uh, sometimes they have colored lenses or working at 3 volts but I always prefer crystal clear lenses and different voltage so the yellow ones work at 3, 3.2 volts as the white one 
okay and the orange is going toward the warm light so it works at uh, less uh, voltage so i thought maybe using some orange wine inside will be better obviously it will not it will not be enough just one led inside maybe from the distance i can get it but this was my solution until some days ago okay three of them there maybe four of them there four of them and everything will get a good looking ancient color orange or yellow if you prefer Lamax Limax buildings are yellowish inside this would have been orange why this is ancient building <laughs> it's not very clear for for now um, right now sorry but it's an ancient building uh, preserved to Victorian era but it's an ancient building and what happened in ancient building you don't, didn't have some uh, light bulbs some electricity inside those buildings but they use it fire torches to put light inside them or maybe some sort of uh, a lamp a oil lamp lately an oil lamp but in the first years they use it uh, wood torches in medieval times then came the oil lamps etc 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 until leds nowadays in our homes some um let's let me check the camera okay good um <coughs> sorry guys but some days ago i come across on amazon to this little thing here i i i could buy i, I both uh, box of 24 of them for just 9.9 .9 euros almost nine, between 9 and 10 uh, USD nothing <laughs> especially when you think that those orange LEDs 10 of them you pay them 2 to 3 euros 2 to 3 USD then as the shipping costs and it's way over 10 euros for just 10 LEDs but here you got those things here for 24 for 10 euros 10 USD those are nothing else than tea candles fake flame no not not fake uh, yes fake flames not not real flames but these are candle tea and look guys yellow flickering like a flame obviously on the market I can get some flickering LEDs yellow orange or red but they are more expensive than this 24 tea candles I can show you more in detail the effect I hope you can see that the LED, uh, I don't know if you can see it, is flickering. Okay, like a flame, like a candle flame will do. But look, guys, too big, not good looking to put them like that inside. I could, because this will be closed, but I don't like it. And let's see if I can reverse engineer this little thing here. And let's see what it is inside there. I, I, I suppose I know what they have put inside this little thing. But let's back engineer it for a moment. Let's try. Okay, so sorry guys. 
I will forgot everything, so let's put the orange one inside here with the correct resistors, okay? Inside, let's close this and let's put back and then like that, okay? Uh, you can see that by the dimension of this thing here, I imagine they put uh, an equivalent battery inside a CR2032 3V battery and let's try uh, I think it will open like that, yes you have a Chinese battery of course okay, in Europe you can find almost everything uh, made in China, these two and you can see you have some Chinese no, you can't see because it's too far but the battery has some Chinese writings on top of it okay, so I suppose this whole design is sold to Amazon Europe uh, from Germany but as always this is mass produced in some Chinese factory the battery can I remove the battery yes the battery came out and I can already see some legs here let me pull them legs where they are a cathode and an anode, anode so I can see some resemblance between this LED and what I can see here and also you can see uh, here too okay some legs no screws no no screws at all so okay made in China obviously uh, I can't unscrew anything so I will have to disassemble this in some other ways uh, I will need let me see if I yes I will need to disassemble this forcing a little bit the plastic there I think I will be able to open it it's simply assembled by pushing two parts together I think yes obviously <laughs> oh, yeah. and voila you have a simple mechanism that this is the switch that go forward or backward that will bring this LED uh, leg here this one with the switch towards the battery or not towards the battery so this one is always connected to the negative pole because as you can see on the battery this is plus so positive and obviously this is negative when the negative is always in connection with the led the switch will back it will take the the other um, the other leg in contact with the battery and voila and the LED is there, a 5mm LED such as I use. It is not orange, it is a yellow. I don't care, yellow or orange. And, and it is flickering, guys. Like a flame, like a torch. What I have here... Oh, it's not plastic. I think it's silicone, guys because it is very very soft i can push through it and it, it will deform but these guys it's somehow um as my lens are after sandpapering them so not crystal clear but um opaque and this i think will help the led to diffuse the light now the light is more visible each time a lens is so opaque so not crystal clear but matte it will help diffuse the light let me okay this is less intense i put the cap on and it is way more and it has a shape of a flame there so then 
Will I be able to? Because I will not. I certainly will not use this huge thing here. Uh, uh, whoop. Voila. Uh, can I? Yes, it's not even soldered, guys. So I must probably be able to. So. Remove it without a problem from the base. Yes, guys. Okay. So negative and positive. Okay, negative and positive. Okay. And if you are wondering when they have already cut, because generally when you have brand new LEDs. The longest leg, this one, is positive and the shorter is negative, negative, positive. And this one has already been cut, so uh, I cannot suppose that the long one is the positive uh, one or it is the negative one. But look inside a crystal clear LED. <laughs> I don't know how will I be able to show you no, uh, but let's hope you can see. Mm, let's hope it will be visible on the camera. Inside the uh, the LED, you have two sides: one with a big triangle, and one with a little triangle. The one that is big, obviously you need to have this, and this is true for 99% of the time. Some special LED doesn't um, follow this rule, but the big triangle, <laughs> once again triangles, uh, it's not a triangle, but it's similar to a triangle. It's the negative pole, and the short, the little one is the positive, okay? So I will be able to recognize it. And this is yellow, so around the 3 volt. That's the reason why they haven't had any resistor inside this, but because this will work on 3 volts. So, what, what LED will I use inside? The building, those one guys, I will make, I will, <laughs> maybe not, not tonight, I will need so, at least a couple of hours of sleep before going to work, it's 2.30 a.m., okay, 2.30 a.m., so I will think about it, but Surely I can transform this LED in a torch, in a wall torch. I will not use some battery, I will use some wires, I will drill some holes in the back, I will put some LED here, torches, that also will be visible through the windows there, through the meshes. But as they are not shaped like this, it will be uh, cool to see them flickering through the windows. Yes, maybe one, two and three, or a couple there and a couple there. Uh, still needed to test them in pure darkness, but then for level one and maybe some of them outside. You don't have many buildings from Lemax or Department 56 with LED outside the building, real LED, real lights. I will try to have, it will be a little complicated, but I will try to have also some of those LEDs complicated because I will need to find a way to hide the wires. Some of those torches outside the building. It could be cool. Uh, I suppose that this would be useful, but maybe 
a little too big on the wall. Let's make an example here. No, it's too elevated, but something like that. But not really. I'm 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 just experimenting right now. Something like that. Yes, it has the right scale. It is at the right scale. Maybe the bulb here, what I call a bulb, but it's not a bulb. It's a, a, a little too big, but I think I will get, uh, I think, let's hope, because I will need to experiment even on that, the same effect with some hot glue gun, gun guys. I, I, I think I can get there, even if... <clears throat> The, uh, the glues from the sticks, when they melt, they tend to go crystal clear. But the glue is, first of all, UV sensible, of course. And then maybe I will get the same effect. I don't know, guys. I'm... <laughs> I'm... Um, thinking, I'm reasoning. At, uh, with you right now, I, I should experiment it, and maybe, maybe I will experiment it tomorrow evening or tomorrow night, or maybe Wednesday morning, very early. But I will try to film it, and so. Let me stop for from now for now. And okay, bye guys. As I told you some seconds ago or some minutes ago, I think the for you guys. Now I will have to experiment. Let me try to explain why. Here I have my new flickering LED and a 3 volt battery. If I connect the LED to the battery, it starts flickering. And then if I use its standard silicone cup here, it even diffuses the light. And that's exactly what I want, the light to be diffused. This will not be a LED, an LED. This will not be a light. This will be a wall torch. A torch place it on the wall for example like that okay I will need it to arrange it more closely but all along the, um, the back wall one will not be enough maybe two maybe four because the first level level zero will be entirely covered by second level in plain dark with just the windows there, with the meshes, so I will need to give some proper lights inside. And uh, all the LED come with this standard silicone cap. Please allow me to call those little things here bulbs, okay? It's way easier and like that, okay, thanks. Will I accept to have the entire building filled with torches having the same exact shape? No, I will not. Certainly it will be much easier, very quickly to do, simply connect the wires to the LED, put some glue on top of the uh, LED and then voila, everything is, this is done, but no. As the torches will be inside and also outside the wall, and as a torch is unique, the flames are unique, there is no torch similar to another, there will be, never be some twin torches. The fire burn in plain air, with its proper life, okay? The flames 
dance in the wind. Oh, guys, sorry. I didn't want to be so poetic, guys. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. So, uh, I will need to find a solution to replace the standard silicon bulb with something else that will also diffuse the light. Okay? Solution? Maybe, because like right now I'm experimenting, and I always told you that if I can and when I can, I will show you new techniques. I will go with some hot glue, guys. Okay, this is a very little uh, hot glue gun, but it's very easy to handle. And I will simply remove the silicon cap there because I will need the entire length of the um, gun tip there okay there uh, maybe I will also get a spare glue stick okay uh, I don't know and then please look at the at this the stick is crystal clear you can see through it the purple you can see the purple through it so I'm a little concerned that the glue will not be diffusing the light produced by the LED and this will be terrible, okay? I need, theoretically, in theory, if I analyze the chemistry of the, the chemistry compounds of the glue there uh, when the glue melt down due to the heat and then cool down and retain a solid state, it has changed somehow its structure and so it will lose this crystal clear transparent uh, property and become more matte, more opaque at least in theory, I haven't experimented, guys, with this. So, what will I do, hoping to get a decent result? I will go with my hot glue gun and wrap around the LED some glue, okay? Uh, and, but I don't want to get burned, so I will wrap The LED around a skewer, around this skewer here, in order to have no fear to be burned by the hot glue. <laughs> Believe me, that glue can give you certain degree burns. I still have somewhere a scar due to the hot glue. I don't remember where. But anyway, I'm, my hands are full and are covered with scars. I'm just old enough to have mutilated myself multiple times. No, sorry guys. I'm very damn today. And I will remove no support here because I will not use it. And then, oh, one last thing. Why have I here a cup of cold water? Because when using a glue, you will need to wait for the glue to cool down and retake a solid state. But I will not wait. I will dip each time I need the LED inside the, wa the cold water in order to accelerate the uh, uh, cooling down of the glue and work easily on giving a shape to the new bulb, to the flame that I want to give to this LED. So, 
L LED in my hands. Let's go this way. Yes. Then I will start going around the LED. guys mm, not that long it took me not that much amount time and uh, you have seen that let me show you the um, the shape there very regular as a flame will be 
uh, I will certainly not go with every single one of the LED the same with the same shape but this is uh, a way to have them all with different shapes guys okay okay less straight now okay more uh, more shaped and maybe a little too long but those are flames guys they don't have a, a standard shape now big 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 moment let's let's see if this is diffusing the light i think so guys epia guys it is diffusing the light maybe i will show you oops i took another one and maybe i can show you that obviously this will not be removable at least i don't at least immediately i will need to cut here to have the glue removed but it can be done let me this way and this way I will say it diffuse even more the light so from crystal clear the glue now is matte opaque and it's not allowing the light to get through the glue but it will diffuse the light if I remove the cap, the bulb, the LED will project a cone of light with the cap. It does, yes, some less, but still, but with the glue, it will not. Maybe too long because you can see that the light will not reach entirely the tip of the flame but from the distance you will not get it <laughs> okay so those will be placed inside the building like that and i think i will uh, know what to do in the next couple or three hours guys I will make a bunch of flames, torch, and then prepare them also, because I will surely not use them like that. Oh, let me check the camera. Okay, good. I will say I will not use them like that with the risk of uh, getting everything uh, shot covered. Uh, if they touch. I will need to isolate uh, the two legs or at least one leg and then give this uh, a stick or a piece of wood to simulate a real torch that will be uh, hanged on the walls of the mysterious building. Well, let me work it's just a standard work i will do all the led then i will connect the wires to the uh to the legs there standard work i will show you the final result Ta-da, guys three and a half hour later i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 plus 1, 14 new uh, shaped LED guys. I can show you more closely if you want. They are all different with sometimes uh, 
uh, uh, more pointy tip, uh, less pointy, some are short, sho some are longer, some are uh, rounded like that and different. This one is more artistic. I went with uh, this one is more artistic guys. I went somehow strange and sometimes I went with an angle band being there. Um, then what I did, I cut uh, some um, heat shrinking tube, one small and one larger. The first one, maybe I will show you what I did. So the first one, the small one, were added on the on one of the legs like that that are connected to some wire, so soldered the wire to the LED, then protected it one leg with the uh, it shrinking tube, then used the, the big one, the bigger one to go like this, okay, and wrap and wrap both of them like that, okay. To the top so it gives stability to the to the led some rigid and now i will have the ability to paint this with some brown with some metal i don't know and simulate a real torch and also what i did guys while i was working on them I also switched on my filament 3D printer and printed a series of those little things here. They are shaped as a shield, as a battle shield, as a um, medieval battle shield, but uh, they also have a hole in the middle. And I will use this or those to hang the torches on the walls like that. The torches will be inside with an angle, I think, and then. like that and this will be the support for my my torches the war torches and uh, i will obviously need to paint everything and then the torches will go as i told you on the walls like that uh, instead of having simply the torches this is a more attractive way to hang them on the wall. Uh, I started with a sheet that was too little, then I um, resized it by 20% and the wall is 3.5 millimeters in diameter and it's not a hole that goes through like that at 90 degrees, but it is inclined like that, otherwise this will not be possible and it's oval, okay? That's the reason it is oval and not round. And uh, it will fit all of them because obviously I couldn't go with the same exact length or shape for all the LEDs. And so even this one will be attached. Uh, white is very awful, but I will need to paint them and then and then make some holes in the walls and glue them to the wall. Okay, it will be 
maybe a good solution I don't know guys but now they are no more the same and they also work guys because I tested all of them and they work just needed to find out the polarity and they work guys and they flicker and they diffuse the light well let's go ahead with what I don't know well, I painted with brown and it's shrinking tubes like that this is somehow supposed to be a wood okay and then I also painted the, the shields with silver and then some uh, uh, bronze, some little sparks with my uh, brush, not a brush. And then I painted also with some uh, uh, bronze to have a regular color on the, <coughs> on the main face of the shields like that. So silver and bronze. Now. Uh, I will need to assemble the, the shields with the LED, okay? But first, I'm not convinced about the interior there. I will need to paint a little gray for the stairs there, but the pavement and the wall are too wide. I risk to see to the windows, to the meshes there, too much white. Uh, painting it's inside, not visible from the outside, I will uh, paint and use uh, bricks for all the outside, even the stairs there, but the walls inside, no need to uh, add bricks, it's a waste of time. But for the pavement, what I did, I printed and cut some uh, some pattern there. I try to go similar to the ones I've drawn in the front there, almost the same sizes, guys. I think at least I try to go that way. I simply took a picture of uh, the pavement there with some reference scale, one to one centimeter. Then in Photoshop, I've imported that and then try to go with some manual uh, adjustments and try to draw the stone pavement. This is the result, grey, because there wasn't uh, too good a choice of colors at the time, and some building, and I will glue this like that, okay, inside and also for the walls. I did almost the same thing, almost, but the walls inside are stone walls, as this is supposed to be an ancient building, different colors, different material, but stones also inside, with some, uh, some strange design there, but this is a real... Um, real wall that I have on my database. This is not on the database, I have drawn it, but this is absolutely one of the walls I have on my database. Ancient stone wall, blue, reddish, brownish, whitish, okay, sorry, and I will place it like that. The reason of this cutting here, these head cuts here, are because I have some supports for guys the first le the level the, the, the base of level two okay I needed some support because otherwise this will bend okay too much so I added this support here that will be invisible but will help me sustain the base for level number one so PVC glue a brush and then I will go with the inside okay guys PVC glue 
Okay, this is it guys. So through the windows you now will see some walls. Also from the main door you will see some walls, okay? And uh, this is what I completed with some having here and under the tunnel here some more pavement and this is ready now level zero obviously no walls from this side because this will be the front view you don't have a windows from this side and from the, the doors and the lateral side you won't be able to see the walls okay only the stairs from this and over here you will be able to see the stairs but i will paint this gray and also from this door here the wall down there the wall in the corner but not the walls um, behind the main um the main face there so a little painting a little gray painting there for the stairs uh, maybe some walls here but i'm not sure of that and then some gray and then uh, while I am waiting for the glue to dry and then holes and then LED on the walls okay now uh, the painting is done I've done some dark gray and then some uh, dry brush black dry brush those are inside the stairs so no need to go to do some uh, white uh, dry brush it's inside why black this dirt because generally they use the fire inside to hit uh, the, the building so fires equals uh, smoke smoke from um, wood and wood is so dirt smoke wood smoke will get everything very dirty so from the sides you can get a look from the other window door too now i will need to make holes for the led let me have just the shortest one here okay and then let's see what i can do i have a little filament there, okay, removed, two point five centimeters, it's there, so let's go two point five centimeters, first one will be, I think, In the corner there and then this is this will take three centimeters at least yes let's go up 2.5 centimeters for the first hole okay let's say here I will have the first hole. Okay, and I will make holes for the other ones like that, and they will be hanging on the walls like that. Okay. Good. If you were wondering why I left this space between those torches here and not having regular replaced them along the wall, is that the need for two fireplaces, okay? Very small fireplaces because from the outside I will have some chimneys, one and one two on the back and I needed some fireplace. So, this is the result, one, two, three, four, five torches, two from this side here, uh, I have uh, carved some 
groove, you know, the true load um, wire to be not visible from the outside and this will be covered by bricks and also one torch from this side here too, okay? Those are at a higher level, they are four centimeters from the um, from the ground base because it will be possible to have them so I, I don't have a roof there, I don't have a ceiling here, here I have a ceiling, I can go higher, here from the outside I will not have a ceiling so I can go higher. If you are wondering why no torches on the main entrance, this is the main entrance, they are too little for the main entrance. I will place two braziers in here, very big, very uh, important braziers. One here and one there, rounded, maybe oval, I don't know yet, I haven't designed them yet, them, them yet. but this is the result, guys. Let me just check all the LED if they still work, otherwise I'm not well placed and I not use a bad word there. This one is working. This one with the shortest wire, I don't know sincerely why I have used a, a so short wire, but let me check. I hope you can see it work. Yes, it can it work. This one. This one work too. This one. work too. Uh, those one are from the outside, but let me check the outside. Oops, it doesn't work. Oh, polarity guys, I haven't marked it there. Well, okay, it worked too. There's one here, and then the last from the back. Not polarity. And the fourth one, and the last one in the So, every LED is still working. Fireplaces there, walls added. The inside is done, guys. Let me clean a little, and then I will go with the base from level one. Now, I will Finally, I, will, I can finally close the first level here. The base is here. And I will be able to close. This is intended for the balcony, guys. So here I will have the balcony. Here I will need to have some balusters. Okay, but I will have to proceed little step by little step and close the first level. The the base here, the pavement of level one, is not supposed to, at least from my design, it's not supposed to go up until the border here, because here I will have some other uh, parts going up. Sorry for the alarm in the background, I don't know, it's... Okay, it's off now. And I will go here. I will use just a little bit of glue, of super glue. And this is how I will proceed. 
now I will need to do one side, two side, one front, two front, three front, balcony. So left, because this is going to be left, level zero, level one left, level one right, left front, right front center front three more pieces uh, will i need to cut them no i have already cut them just to check the camera and i will be with you okay camera is good so last time i already cut this piece here guys this is left level one left okay like that and you can appreciate that with level one i will cover this ugly columns here with what will be up here and those three millimeters are these three millimeters here for the pavement i Added those two. Okay, I simply need to check if everything is aligned. No, here I have too much space. So, uh, exacto knife, if I can find it right here, and then remove a little here. Good, but you can. Uh, understand, as I said last time, last week in my part, in my part of 12 video, that this is not a church. I will never end up telling you so. This is the right side. The door is there. But those are similar to cathedral windows. I know, yes, you are right, similar to cathedral windows. I don't want mosaic. So if I want some glasses behind, but I still need something in there. So, once again, very difficult to use some styrofoam to <coughs> model, to design something that will fit inside those holes here. So I went with the filament 3D printer and I came up with these guys. This little design here, I still need to clean it a little bit and decide where is the top and down this. I still have some little pieces of the border and then a circle and then some other gothic art inside. And this is supposed to support the, each and single one part of the glasses I will have behind. And for pure chance, those will fit almost inside the holes. I will need to use uh, <coughs> some filler here, I can't be precise sometimes, and these will be placed almost at the border here. And then I will have the glass behind. So this is a completely new look, not cathedral, not a church. And you can see through it. And then I have also the smallest one with the exact same design, guys. This one will go in here. And the big one will go, oops, it's not. Yes, correct, like that. And this one will go there, like that. 
Okay. Woof. And this will go here. Obviously, this will be a door. So, last thing I will be do is add the door, and this will go like that, guys. Okay. On top of here, with everything visible through the windows. So here, I will need, I will need to add some very beautiful pavement, okay? Beautiful pavement. And also some torches, but in the back, in the back there. And now, what I will need, I don't know guys, white on white, this will be covered by bricks, obviously, but white on white, no. Um, this is not supposed to be a very rich building. I could use some gold for the uh, for the for the windows there no i don't want to give you the impression that this is a rich building i could go with bronze but once again bronze was very precious at uh, in ancient times statues were all bronze because because it was very rare bronze is not a uh, uh, a pure material is a uh, mix, is an early age. Uh, let's forget chemistry for a moment, but I will need to go red to violet. Uh, met, I will go with some copper, guys. First, because I wanted to follow my idea of uh, um, steampunk and copper was preferred is supposed to be the main metal for use in a steampunk architecture electricity etc and it will be a good contrast between the gray of the walls and of the bricks and the, the windows there okay um, I will paint them I will paint them copper but I will not fix them because I will also need to paint the inside here with some grey before adding some bricks okay because the bricks will be only visible from there and this will be the next step with also the need of having the pavement. So good. Dangerous. Let's proceed with the pavement there. Okay. So here I have 12.7 by 12. 12.7 by 12 and then from the other side I, uh, I was saying the reason of this center mosaic here is that that because between the third the level number two second level first the second level and the third level here the middle level will have an internal balcony there that will be from this side an internal balcony and then going outside it through some other arcs there in the back and I wanted that the people then the stair here then the people looking downstairs will get a better look of the pavement with the center mosaic here um, effect 
and this will be inside the inside view. Um, a little problem here, I can't stop. Okay, now, now this is the inside of the left side here that I painted with grey and then black dry brush because it was dirty inside as all, all ancient buildings. And then from border here some grey and then white dry brush here because this is outside so winter so it gets very 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 icy. This the front is a mess because it will be covered by um, by bricks. Then. The painted supports for the windows. Okay. And I think the color is a good contrast. It's the opposite side, it doesn't get true. Yes. Okay, then, no, that's the reason why this is for the other side, guys, sorry, this is for the right side, guys, that will be different, that's the reason I couldn't get too easily, yes, much better. And this will be glued there. And through the window, you will see the mosaic and everything else down there. Okay? Now, the same thing will end from the other side. I couldn't get, I couldn't go with the same design, but I prefer to go differently and have symmetrical windows from one side and the other because from the other side I don't have the door to get access from the external stairs so twin windows and a big window there and this will be now I will fill the gaps then retouch everything and then glue then like like that okay well I need to fill the gaps there can't use some glue can't use some plaster I will use some molding powder mixed with some water okay molding powder uh, you have seen me using it in the very first part when I build the, the hemispheres half spheres uh, allowing me to build the steam tank under the bridge, the train bridge. So moldering powder I will add some water. I will mix I need to work quick because this will dry in nothing and I will fill the gaps in here.
Okay guys, and this is done too. So, after applying the molding powder, I waited it for dry, and then I repainted some here and there with uh, copper and then some grey and then some black dry brush in order to get everything as clean as possible. This will be the inside, so no matter what. And the other part too, here it is. Okay, then what I did, I took one PET piece of, uh, of PET, so this is the same uh, thickness I used for the uh, dome uh, to get the um, glass done, and I cut the perimeter like that, so I went like that and go a little over the perimeter of the windows and then applied some PVC glue and then glue the in the back the glass and this is the effect I hope you can see that it will also reflect the light sorry I am moving the camera okay it will reflect the light as normal glasses will do okay and this will be my windows, my lateral windows, this one too, will reflect the light and you can get through. Um, I don't know if you can see but uh, the PET is slightly ruined in some point, good because this is supposed to be glass windows but also ancient ruin, not that ancient but uh, uh, a little uh, damaged, ruined. Okay, now now, 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 let's get those glued. Good. The glue will also help me fill the gap between the stairs and the wall there. Done from this side. Good. And from the windows, guys, I don't know if I can show you. You can see the mosaic and the pavement there. And it will, oops, not, let's not exaggerate because otherwise this will not be at least almost at 90 degrees. Like that. Okay, guys. And a little pause then something else. I don't know if I will be able to go ahead with this one. Uh, something else, guys. Now, I removed the dome because I will start right now building the two levels that are still missing, level 4 and level 5. I don't know exactly how to do them. I will start, then something will get to me and I will only risk to damage the a dome passing through many times from one side to the other and I will work back there so uh, some music guys because it will be just me passing through and uh, cutting in the other room and then placing the, the styrofoam I will need to pull this in order to get access To the back there, oh, I can I can get access from everywhere. Let me see. Yes, almost there, and then some measurements. be
Part 13 is about to end and the final recap is a must. And I'm going to start from the two added levels. Level 4, divided in left and right, and level 5 there. This will not be the final result and I will explain you why. Then the building and I went with the mysterious building in the corner there. This is how it is looking right now. Sorry for all the books in the background and also for the pavement. And here the balcony will be uh, leveled by the arts there. And here I will have the balcony. Let me just show you from the sides that inside you will have this look. It's a pity, yes, I know. Having it cornered there, it should be at least in the plain middle here, but I don't think I will have it right here in plain middle there. Still the same problems, not, not be able to see through the right and left. But I will also have some little windows in the front, so no problems for that. And But when I will film it, I will show you. So... I will most probably have it there and something else in the corner and etc. The reason of the fifth level there on top of everything the North Pole as always is a little lower than last season but much more manageable to work on. This obviously will not be as rounded as it is, but it will help me getting through with the rock paper all around it and underneath, because this will be a cavern, a dark cavern for one of the two left features dedicated to Victorian era novelists. One will be inside there. And somehow I will manage to work inside that hole there. Everything will be covered with rock paper and upon everything the North Pole there. And then from the other side the dome is still there, okay, with everything, nothing changed, but I'm still depressed guys <laughs> because I'm must admit that I will not be able to finish this in time. Wrecking everything, sorry guys, and this is part of the fourth level from the other side. It's not a regular cut, it's 29 centimeters here, 29 by 0.5 centimeters and 40 here something different going there with a point of view changing the point of view and people being there uh, get, will be able to see in the plain distance from also the dome there and those one know but with this angle here with this corner here with this angle it will be something different uh, breaking all the straight lines I will add another something there. Maybe I will go up a little more, but this will definitely help me uh, understanding where I want to finish it and how I want to finish it. Nothing is planned yet for level 4 and level 5, and the cavern there will be very difficult to work on. 
it will be a little dark. I will not tell you what will be inside it. Not the nativity, guys. <laughs> okay. Not the nativity inside the cavern. Yeah, you may think so, but no, not a nativity. And yes, I will, I will not talk. Not even under torture. And that's all. I almost worked uh, in entirely this part of 13 on different aspects of the, of the strange buildings, of the mysterious building. I haven't shown you the, the LED, but the torches, and but they are here, the torches from a close look. They are here, and also inside you may see the torches inside and the fireplaces inside. Okay, guys. So, uh, the glue is not still, still to, uh, still to get uh, um, dried. I hope it is on focus, but inside. I don't know if I can show you from the front side too. No, no. No, because there is no light and there's two. Next time I will finish this. I already have cut front, not the back, the front here, center, right and left. But this will be for part 14, hoping not to be so depressed during part 14. Let's go with the outro, guys. Please forgive me because my bad mood affected entirely this part of the routine. But realizing that the Christmas village, my Christmas village, will not be finished until mid January will affect anyone's mood. But I will not give up. I will try to double my effort and try to find uh, some more spare time I, I don't know where sincerely because okay I, I don't know but I, I will try to go ahead and add two more features add everything else but right now I'm not <laughs> very happy please don't forget to subscribe comment and give thumbs up thank you for watching Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and my bad mood, my really bad mood. And see you next time, but I don't know if you want to.